Now, after 30 years of democracy in South Africa and elections on the way again, some students feel left behind. The South African Union of Students says it notes with irritation the inability of NSFAS to effectively fulfill its mandate to the poor. NSFAS provides grants for students to pay for their tuition and accommodation, but living allowances to hundreds of thousands were not paid on time last year. To discuss, we're joined by the South African Union of Students spokesperson, Asive Dlanjwa. Mr. Dlanjwa, thank you for joining us. I mean, how many of these allowances are still outstanding for last year? Uh, good evening, uh, Francis, to you, your viewers and your listeners. Um, as per the reports of, uh, of NSFAS, they have reported that they have not paid up to 20,000 students from last year. But we believe that number is almost three times that number. Uh, uh, based on the fact, uh, on the experience of the students on the ground and what we know to be uh, uh, happening uh, in, in the respective institutions. So, yeah, so we're looking at about uh, uh, what, what they have been able to confirm. They say it's 20,000, we say it's more, but these yeah. are all students that would have not received their allowance, some of them since May 2023, by the way. Okay, so then what is their experience? So they have to go and speak to the university. Presumably the, the universities were sympathetic last year because the NSFAS funds would come in, but now they're trying to register for another year. It is catastrophic and it will prove to even be more catastrophic as the days go on uh, for a few reasons. Number one, uh, you will understand that these students wrote, first of all, they are final year examinations without food. Some of them had not been receiving allowances for months on end. They did not have food, they did not have the sanitary product, nor did they have a, their a toiletry. So first and, and foremost, it means that they, in their participation in the